Hi, this is Porter Thorndike, and I'm going to take you through the creation of the Executive Dashboard located in the Retail Samples Visualizations folder. This example is a nice high-level look into your business and the three critical metrics in your business, quantity sold, gross profit, and revenue. Each metric is displayed with a donut gauge, which is a great way of communicating percentage of achievement of a target. And then we've got a ranked bar by one of your critical dimensions. In this case, we're looking at region, but you'll notice we're also looking at product categories in stores across the different metrics. And each metric is shown with a year-over-year -year comparison by month as a line chart. So this is very informational. It's very beautiful. It's also very interactive. If I wanted to isolate just a MIA, notice I could filter or drill. And that filter will be applied to all other visualizations. And if I wanted to drill down, I can do that easily as well. So this is also very easy to build. And let's look at how we do that. To be respectful of your time, we're going to build just one of those columns because the exact same process would be repeated for those other columns. And to do this, I first want to look at this just for a two-year time period, this year and last year. And to do that, let's drag year in the filter drop zone, and we're going to apply the filter of just 2014 to 2015. Now, notice show prompt was checked, and if you leave it checked, you'll get the filter control over here, and a lot of people like that. And if you like it, you leave it. And if you don't want it, you can just close it. That filter will still be applied. Now, to start, we're going to go with the donut gauge. And to do the donut gauge right, you've got to set that target somewhere. And the best place to set a target is by creating a calculation with that target. And I'm going to set the target of quantity sold. And let's just give it a nice name like target of quantity sold. Now, if you want to see the number, you can give it a dollar sign. If you want to see the percentage, we can give it a percentage sign. And the way that this is evaluated is quantity sold divided by the target. And I know we're trying to move 2 million units this year. So I'm going to put that in as my target. I'm going to multiply it by 100. And I can see we're at 67.9% of our target in terms of quantity sold. And I do just want to add a title so we know what metric we're looking at here. And I'll put in the title and center it. Now, let's create that ranked bar chart for quantity sold. We were looking at region. And if I go to the Home tab and insert, we're working with a fluid canvas that allows us to very quickly change the layout, split it vertically, split it horizontally, change the size. And so let's drag quantity sold onto the canvas. And let's drag region onto the canvas. And I'm just going to quickly rotate this and rank this to make it more readable and highlight the top performers. So to rotate it, I click the swap button up in the ribbon. To rank it, I click the metric and I click sort down. Okay, and if you recall, that interactive capability of filter and drill is available to me automatically. Now the last thing that I want to do is create that line chart comparison. Because I don't have these other columns on the canvas, really a better layout is not to keep them all in a single column. That's always something I think you want to be mindful of and think about is what's the appropriate size and what's the appropriate layout based on the components that I have on the canvas. And if you decided to start adding those other columns, it'd be very easy to change the orientation or layout. But I'll leave the layout like this. And I'll change this to be a line chart. And to create this year over year comparison, all we do is drag month onto the canvas and quantity sold onto the canvas. And then I want to color by year. And we drag year into the color bucket. Okay, and that's how we created those three KPIs for each metric and then just apply that same process across those other two examples. This has been how to create the executive dashboard.